Let's go! Hello family, today is Sunday, June the 30th. Guys, I've missed you so much. And I'm your brother, Adam, with the Watchman Adam News Channel. And family, I'm telling you today, we got a very interesting video. The sign of the devil has appeared in New York City. But before we get into the video, guys, let me say thank you for tuning back in with us today. As always, your love and support of the channel means the world to us. Thank you so much. And family, the newest addition to our family, Paul Miles, the new cat that we rescued, has asked if you can to please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way, you'll be notified every time we upload an end times video. Now, while the Watchman Adam News Channel is an end time news channel, we have one goal and mission here at the Watchman Adam News Channel, and that's to point you to our Father and Creator, the Most High God, and the finished work of His Son, Jesus, and nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Family, let me ask you a question. Where would we be without the cross? Think about that for a moment, guys. And family, before we get into this video, if you have any prayer requests or praise reports, drop them in the comment section below, and we'd be honored to pray over your prayer requests. Family, continue to keep me and my family in your prayers. You know, recovering from this injury has been a lot on us, but we know the Most High God's got me, but continue to keep us in your prayers. Greatly appreciated. Thank you, guys. Now to today's End Times video. Let's go! Okay, family, in this news report today, we only got one headline, but it's a major headline. And family, remember, the Bible calls the devil a dragon and also a serpent. So what we're going to do before we get into today's headline, we're going to take a look at some Bible verses that establish what we're going to talk about today. Alrighty, the first verse is Isaiah 27.1. In that day, the Lord, with his sore and great strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. The next verse is Revelation 12, 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. The next verse is Revelation 12, 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And the last verse is Revelation 22. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Now, in the King James Version of the Bible, the word dragon appears several times. Now, while dragon today refers to a mythical flying creature, the word previously had a larger somatic range. According to the 1828 Webster's Dictionary, when used in scripture, dragon seems to refer to a large serpent. And we know the serpent is a representation of the devil. So now that we have established that when we read about a dragon in the Bible, it usually refers to the devil. Now let's check out this end time headline from End of the American Dream on June 25th. And this end time headline reads, The sign of the devil has appeared in New York City. Wow, family, we gotta get into this, but do you remember a few years ago when the Arch of Baal appeared in New York City? And before we get into this, guys, did you know New York equals 666 in Gematria? Just throwing that out there for you. So, family, check this out. In New York City, from June 16th to 19th, a 270-foot dragon was wrapped atop one of the world's most iconic structures. The Empire State Building in New York City. Now remember, we just discussed how the dragon is a representation of the serpent or the devil. Family, look at that picture right there. Imagine you're in New York City, you live in New York City, and you look up and see that one day. Wow. Now family, let me ask you a question. Considering what the Bible has to say, should we be alarmed that a colossal dragon was just perched atop the Empire State Building in New York City? Now family, this was done to promote the HBO series, House of the Dragon, which enters its second season. And you see in that promo flyer right there, you even have the one eye symbolism. Check it out. And family, this dragon was soaring above New York City, 102 stories up on the Empire State Building. Now family, listen to this. This dragon on top of the Empire State Building was secured by 153 rigging points. 
And remember, we read about the 153 fish in John 21 11. Interesting, right? And this dragon also had 1,700 pattern pieces and 600,000 stone stitches. But the 153 rigging points was done on purpose. They're throwing it right in front of our face. Now family, listen to this. In addition to the giant dragon on the Empire State Building, massive banners featuring enormous dragons with the message, All Must Choose, were hung on the New York Stock Exchange, the Manhattan Bridge, Penn Station, City Field, Rockefeller Center, the Brooklyn Bridge, Grand Central Station, and Washington Square Park. Family, they hung these dragon banners all across iconic features inside New York City. Not a coincidence. But family, other cities all across the world also promoted this evil series. Look at the Eiffel Tower right there with the dragon banners hanging from it. You know, Paris is about to host the Olympics. Interesting. And many other places across the world displayed these banners, even in Saudi Arabia. No surprise there. And family, listen to this. All of this is being done in the Chinese year of the dragon. That also is not a coincidence. Now family, I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, this HBO series had no idea about all that. They didn't mean nothing by that. I disagree. We know Hollywood is evil and run by Satan. This was liberally done to show that these Hollywood people, who they truly serve, they serve Satan. And they're throwing it right in our face. My beautiful channel family, I would really love to hear what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. But family, I agree with the headline of the article, The Sign of the Devil Has Appeared Over New York City. Family, this world day by day becomes more blatant. They become more open about who they serve. Guys, they're not hiding it no more. They are throwing it right in our face. Family, when you see stuff like this, this should really show you that we are truly living in the end of days and that Jesus is coming soon. Ready or not, Jesus is coming to take his bride. It could be any day now. It could be the day. It could be before I get this video uploaded. That's how intimate the rapture is. Family, if you know Jesus is coming back for us soon, let me get a Jesus is coming soon in the comment section below. Let everybody reading the comments know that our Messiah is coming soon. Now family, before we close this video out and stick around to the end, I got some really, really good news for you. One bit more piece of news to report to you. And the good news is that nearly 2,000 years ago, Jesus laid down his life for us on the cross. Man, that's what true love looks like. And I love what the Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Family, Jesus did it all on the cross. If you don't have a personal relationship with him, today could be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The Most High God is faithful and just. He will forgive you your sins. And family, that's facts. Family, I don't know about y'all, but I am so grateful for what Jesus did for us on the cross. You know what else I'm thankful for? The Rainbow Health Company. If you visit www.biblehealingoil.com and use code WATCHMAN20, you'll save 20%. We sell all natural healing and anointing oils. And let me give you a personal testimony. Y'all know I have cracked two vertebrae in my back. They have sent me many of the Elijah oils totally free. That's the maximum strength. And family, it has helped with my back pain so much. And family, by ordering from them, you also help support the Watchman Adam News Channel. And also take the fight to be pharmaceutical. Family, these oils work, and guys, I'm telling you, without the Rainbow Health Company, what I've been going through would have been a lot worse. They have really been there for me. The ones you see on your screen right there, I used them for anxiety. I put it on my upper lip and inhaled it, and family, it really works. So family, check the pinned comment below while I'll have a link, or visit www.biblehealingoil.com. Remember, use code WATCHMAN20, and guys, you'll be glad you did. Well, once again, my beautiful channel family, thank you for watching, guys. I missed you so much. Thank you for all the prayers. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it, and drop a comment because family, it helps us out so much, and we do appreciate it. And if you're new to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family because you see, here on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated, and we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And I also want to give a special thank you to all our channel members. Guys, thank you for all the extra support and love. 
You guys are awesome and we appreciate you. And finally, family, if you want to make a donation to what we do here at the Watchman Adam News Channel, we got ways you could do so. Look at your screen right there or check the description box below. At this time, it is much needed and greatly appreciated. But if you're sending a donation for our homeless outreach or Bible ministry, please specify what you want it used for when you send the donation. But with this injury, it's really set me and my family back big time. To everyone that sent us donations, thank you so much. We love you guys. You guys are awesome. I'm going to start tearing up talking about it, guys. I love you. And family, thank you for sticking around. I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately, man. The devil's trying to take me out. I truly feel that way. But I'm going to keep on stepping on him because the serpent is nothing but a liar. We serve the Most High God, and God always has our back, family. Well, to next time, Brother Watson Adam signing out in three. Two, one, guys, I love you, and remember, let's go Harpazzo. Keep on looking up, guys, and keep me in your prayers. Take care.